Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Simply Christelle. Today's video is going to be my October BoxyCharm unboxing video. This box that I got this month is way thicker than normal. It's like a larger box. So I'm just going to be unboxing with you guys what I got. So let's just get started. The first thing that I got are these wipes right here. This is by the brand Julep. Oh, I remember Julep. I remember that brand. So this is the Julep Makeup Remover Towelettes. And these have witch hazel in them. I'm not a big fan of witch hazel because it kind of has irritated my skin in the past. But I can use these um, for like taking off my eye makeup or if I mess up and I just need to wipe my face. And these just says that it's good for you know acne prone skin and it's made out of biodegradable materials. So that's really good. So it is like environmental friendly because I did stop using makeup wipes because of the, you know, the waste that it, it causes. But these are uh, biodegradable and I will keep these handy and on the side just like if I'm doing a tutorial and I just need to like fix my makeup or you know if I have to take something off my face and the next product that we got is um this right here this is by the brand pinky rose cosmetics I've never heard of this brand before so this is a um two multi-use makeup sticks so you can use them it says for eyelid bottom lash line waterline brow bone lips and you can also use it as a pop of color and you can use it as a primer um so today i'm going to be priming my eyelids with one of these i'm going to take this one this is in the shade i'm going to take this one this is in the shade hip hop it is like a natural beige and i'm going to use this to prime my eyelids for the shadows that i'm going to be um working with today I'm just going to take that and just use that. And then we also got this shade here, this copper shade, Jazz. But I'm thinking of using this in another like day. It's a really pretty copper shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just... Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to blend this in. You know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk the white one this is exactly what it reminds me of it's a little bit difficult to blend because it's so thick but we'll see how well the shadows blend on this i hope i hope they blend well because this is my whole base for my eyes i'm actually going to use this tres loose i am ama palette and i think that this is by um Becky G is what I'm understanding, this brand. And so I'm gonna use this palette. These shades are so pretty. Like very, it's very small palette, but it's just so cute, like the way she put the colors together here. And then I'm also going to use her brushes that she came out with as well. Um, I think Becky G is the co-founder of this brand. I don't know if it's like hers 100%. I'm not entirely sure. I have to do more research. But I love the packaging. This cobalt blue color is beautiful. And then the soft touch is just so pretty. And I think the whole brand like is like this type of blue. I don't know if it's just this um, launch. But I am going to use these brushes and this palette to create a quick look for you guys.
I just finished up this the eye look. I'm going to clean it all up and stuff. But I do really, really like these brushes. They were so, so, so easy to use. And they blended out the look very beautifully, very nicely. And also, these eyeshadows are so pigmented, guys. And they're super soft. They are powdery shadows, but I don't mind powdery as long as they show up on my skin and last long. But they were super easy to work with. And the base, it didn't make applying the... Um, makeup hard or anything but i really like this little palette my favorite color is actually this color this like darkish brownish and the pink i like these two a lot but this is the look i came up with now um for my face i actually got this by glow recipe this is the glow recipe nice in the mind do drops so this is not a skincare product well actually it is a skincare product but it is more like a um glowing product the way it's described because what it says is on no makeup day apply one or two pumps as the last step and then it says when wearing makeup you can use it as a primer so i'm going to use this as a face primer for my foundation i think that's what i'm gonna do so yeah i'm gonna take um two pumps on my finger here one two and then it says as a priming um, apply one or two pumps on last step in your skincare before makeup. Mix one to two pumps with foundation for a glowy finish. Can be also be used as a brightening serum step. Apply one pump. Okay, so it can be used as skincare, sorry. But today what we're going to do is we're going to use it as a face primer. I usually, I don't have anything from Glow Recipe, but... If this is really good, I wouldn't mind adding this to my um, skincare routine if it's like if it gives your skin a nice glow. So this is what it looks like by itself. It's a nice glow. And I'm gonna pair this with a hydrating foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. I have mine in shade 420. I'm just gonna take this and apply it. Like that. Take a little pumps here. Here. And with my foundation, honestly, I don't see a lot of dew like. It just looks like normal dude that I usually because I feel like this foundation is a hygiene foundation my skin looks how it normally does honestly with this um I think this might be something I might have to use over time and over time it will um like work maybe but first impressions I don't see my skin looking more glowy than normal or more but it says also that you can pat it on the high points of my of the face. So I think I'll try to put this on the high points of my face. And I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I just wanted to pop up in here real quick. I also got these lashes from Tress Loose. They sent me these and then they sent me, um, well not they sent me, but in the BoxyCharm they put these with the palette. And they also gave me courtesy eyelash glue. So I'm going to apply these lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So I am back with my makeup fully done. I really, really like the look. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog. I like the look that I created um, with these colors. I would typically not put like this light blue with the pink and all this stuff. But it actually looks pretty nice. I did put on the lashes that um, were in the with the makeup palette and uh, these lashes are very very dramatic very dramatic um they're not my cup of tea for lashes not really lashes that I go for but I just want to try them for the video but I really like this month's box it was a pretty good box like there's nothing in here that I like hated I loved 
pretty much everything. I mean, this, um, the glow recipe, I think I'm going to start incorporating in my skincare and I want to see if it makes my skin more glowy over time. I did apply it to the high points of my cheeks, kind of like a natural highlight. And I do see like here, like it is a little highlighted in here as well. But, um... I'm just going to keep using it and see how it works as skincare. But I really love the box. And the overall value of this month's box is 126 Zolas. So I really, really, really like this month's box. And the theme, sorry, the theme is Spellbound. Oh, that's cute. Like Halloween. Um, so it's Spellbound. I love this. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not already. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.